Hello my friends, um, today uh, of course the lighting is, as the days get darker, um, not as good as it could be, but we're going to power through this anyway, and in case you can only see parts of my beautiful visage, I apologize, but we're going to talk about goals. And one of the biggest ways that we can overcome somewhat seemingly insurmountable odds is by breaking down those goals. If you have a really lofty goal, like for example, I want to be a politician, I want to be, or you know, in our case we're talking about fitness, this is a fitness channel, self-improvement channel really, but you know, in the case of fitness, I want to have a 315 bench press. Now those are uh, two goals, politician, bench press, um, what's another one that we could think of? Um, I want to have $200,000 uh, in my savings account by the time I'm 30. Those are all really, really lofty goals and to the average person and to some of you who are watching this video, you might have said to yourself, there's no way that I could ever do that. Well, that's some sort of a perhaps biologically uh, sound mechanism going off in your brain to the sound and the suggestion of something that could potentially hurt you. But I want you to consider the fact that there are many, 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 many people in the world who have done all of those things and more in their lives. And you have to wonder how these people have got there. Is it because they were struck by lightning? Possibly, but one of the biggest ways that people get to the where they are is by number one believing in themselves But we're going to talk about the way that we can break down our goals today Because breaking down goals is a way that we can make things a little bit easier Because we can manage a goal into many many different projects and once all of those projects are complete That's when our goal has been achieved So there are two basic kinds of goals that we can talk about. There are the behavioral goals and then there are the outcome goals. Now the outcome goals are the centerpiece. An outcome goal is something like, okay, I want to become a politician. I want to have a 315 pound bench press. I want to have $200,000 in my savings account by the time I'm 30. Those are the outcomes that we want. But when you look at it, it's like, okay, how? And when we talk about behavioral goals, we are basically making goals for ourselves based on behavior. So, for example, um, in my experience with, um, with lifting, how do you get to 315 bench press? I'm going to hit bench press three times a week and add five pounds to my bench every time I go into the, well, every week, week to week when I go into the gym. That's how you get your bench press to 315. Now, of course, it doesn't go up linearly like that, but that's the general way that you put weight on the bar and successfully bench it. With money, same thing. You, you don't just go into it and say, oh, I'm going to have this in my account when I'm 30 because if you're just spending it on frivolous materialism then it's not it's not going to be there when you're 30. Um, you do it by having a savings account, putting a certain amount of your paycheck into that account every single week, taking, uh, taking a certain percentage of what you make and saying look this is not for me right now, it's for me but it's for me in the future. And there are multiple different instruments that you can use to make money. That's not just getting a job, um, having investments, uh, obtaining commodities, uh, flipping uh, things like cars, houses, um, even pieces of art, wine. There are a lot of ways that you can make money. It's not just through your job, but I'm not a financial advisor yet, um, so if you are in that area, I suggest you go find somebody else to talk to you about that. One of the things though with the behavioral goals is this, they must be informed. You need to find either learn or find somebody else who knows the best way to go and get you to where you want to be. So example, for example with the bench press, you have to know that you have to bench with much, with uh, 
a high percentage of your one rep max, whether it be 70, 80 percent, and you know, I wouldn't say 90, but 85 percent. Every time you go to the gym, you have to do it two to three times a week. You have to, you have to know these things. You have to know how to make money. You have to know um, that I have to put aside either 15, 20 percent of my income every month in order to get to this position in this amount of time. So behavioral goals can be broken down very, very small. Um, you, you may not think that some of, the, some of the, uh, the outcomes of those goals will be meaningful at all because every, every time that you go in to the gym every week, let's say, okay, yeah, you only put five pounds in your bench press. It might seem insignificant, but it adds up over time, and that's the whole point of project managing your life, project managing your goals, having behavioral goals to ultimately bring you to that objective goal. And that's how you get to your objective. And one of the biggest things is this, too. You have to believe in yourself. You have to commit. You have to make sacrifices. There are going to be days where you want to sit in bed, you want to do nothing, but you have to get up, you have to go to work, you have to, um, and you know, I think that work is, uh, work can have a lot of different meanings too, because it doesn't mean that, oh, I have to go to a job that I hate and uh, want to kill myself five days out of the week. Well, is that really your goal? You know, are you that obsessed with financial success that you're willing to sacrifice your well-being and quite frankly, your existence for shiny objects? Bit of a rant, bit of a um, bit of my own opinion, but I think that the more that we uh, like something, the more that we actually are objectively, again, objectively, in the zone, trying to get to those objective goals, um, the more success that we will have because we are um, we are more fulfilled by doing them. So, my friends, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did enjoy the video please share the video because every time one of you guys do, do that it really helps me I really appreciate it whenever everybody does that if you like the video please like the video it's just a freaking click I'm waiting there you go thank you very much and um, until next time guys thank you for watching and have a nice day